Welcome to Can You Dig It 2022. I am Renee Lindsay, MSD's One Water Chief Procurement Officer. I hope everyone is healthy and staying safe. Due to the coronavirus and the Omicron variant, we canceled the in-person event out of an abundance of caution and safety. While we missed the opportunity to interact with all of you at the Kentucky Center for African American Heritage, as we've done since 2016, we hope to reconvene in person next year in 2023. As we kick off Can You Dig It 2022, MSD is proud to partner with Louisville Water Company to inform you about our respective capital improvement programs, opportunities to do business with us. We hope you took advantage of participating in various sessions we conducted this morning, including community benefits, local labor, small business enterprise program, and sessions with the Louisville Water Company's engineering team and MSD's engineering team, respectively. Today, leadership from both MSD and Louisville Water will share information with you about our 2022 capital improvement programs. Now, I would like to turn the presentation over to Louisville Water Welcome to Can You Dig It 2022. I'm Tony Parrott, Executive Director of MSD. As the new year is in full swing, unfortunately, the coronavirus is still among us. And out of an abundance of caution, we are unable to connect with you in person this year. As Renee shared, as an ongoing commitment to keeping our staff and supplier community safe, we are hosting Can You Dig It virtually again this year. Our program today has a wealth of information, including engineering, procurement, community benefits, and much more. We hope you learn more about opportunities to work with MSD this year. In the face of COVID-19, MSD has continued our projects and operations, and we could not have done it without the help 
of our supplier community. Our minority and women-owned businesses have risen to the occasion and continue to partner with us to keep our facilities and projects going. In fiscal year 2021, MSD contracted more than $20.9 million with minority-owned businesses, including $6.6 million with women-owned businesses. We hope to increase these numbers in 2022. MSD is fully committed to maintaining COVID-19 workplace safety for our staff and supplier community. Therefore, our staff who can perform their jobs remotely will continue to do so until our return to in-office work date of March the 7th. We ask that you do your part by continuing to wear a mask and limiting visits to MSD facilities. Also, visit our website for important information about our COVID-19 contractor policy. You will find the information at louisvillemsd.org slash doing business. As we weather the pandemic together, we hold fast to our values more than ever. Respect, excellence, accountability, stewardship, customer focus, and integrity will get us through to the other side. Each of you, our suppliers, contractors, and professional service providers are an extension of MSD staff when you work on projects and initiatives on our behalf. When you interact with our customers and say you are working with us, your work and interactions are a reflection of MSD. We appreciate all you do for MSD and the community. Thank you again for attending Can You Dig It 2022. We look forward to a productive, healthy, and safe year ahead. Hello, my name is John Leckley, and I am the Engineering Technical Services Director for the Louisville and Jefferson County Metropolitan Sewer District. And I want to thank you for your interest in MSD's Capital Improvement Plan. Our Capital Improvement Plan addresses all our needs throughout the sewer district from our treatment plants to our flood pump stations, all the way down to our drainage and collection lines. On average, MSD has spent approximately 100 and $90 million over the last five years. Our current budget is pretty significant also. It's $204 million. Today, I will briefly discuss the upcoming projects that were advertised for construction per quarter during the 2022 calendar year. New to MSD, I would like to mention is in our budgets is our regionalization. MSD has also moved forward and about two years ago, we are now into Oldham County and we are also uh, recently this year into Bullock County. So our budget not only addresses the sewer and infrastructure needs in Jefferson County, but also into Oldham and Bullock Counties. So I will talk through all the projects that'll happen through the fiscal for the calendar year of 2022. Please note that these are all preliminary estimates. They are based on the best initial planning effort we have today and are from our engineers. But these are not final estimates. They are subject to change. For example, uh, we are going through the pandemic of COVID and there could be a lot of things that could change these projects, but these are the best guess information we have today. Slide one shows a significant amount of projects that are we're doing this year. One of note, most of our projects, we are moving more toward asset management. That's gonna be a term that you hear throughout a lot of these presentations. That is our existing infrastructure. So that's our treatment plants, our pump stations and our sewer lines. So for example, the Floyd's Fork Wastewater Quality Treatment Center Power Factor Correction Project, the Southwestern Pump Station Site Security Project. These are, you will note that the projects that are on this first slide all relate to our existing sewer. Another thing that we like to do is, as part of aging infrastructure, there does have to be a time to where you hit that point to where you can't rehab it enough. So the best part and most cost effective is elimination. So the Sony Avenue pump station elimination is one of several we will have this year that will address that. And a new project that is being done this year is the Ash Avenue interceptor. I wanna bring that of note is because that's a significant project and that'll be our first project that we move into Oldham County. And that project is significant because it will allow the elimination of the Ash Avenue treatment plant and other treatment plants that are also aging beyond uh, their useful life. The next slide 
slide two will contain a list, a continuation of the projects for the first quarter of 2022. And as you can see, more projects at our Morris Foreman Water Quality Treatment Center. Uh, we have facility upgrades, uh, and we also have more pump station eliminations. Also included in all of the work that we have is our dry program. It should be noted that it's significant. That is probably what our customers see the most. That is our drainage response initiative. So there are several projects in that, and there's also projects that will help to address our flood wall and levee uh, projects. The next slide will be the projects that will be included into the second quarter of the year 2022. So this will be April, May, and June. Again, as you will note, uh, DRG is our Derek R. Guthrie treatment plant. We have a RAS pump project replacement. We have a DRG water quality treatment uh, center substations. Uh, so those are two mechanical electrical projects. The one thing that I would like to note as you see through these, and, and if you have colleagues or have teaming abilities, uh, we will have a lot of what I would call mechanical and electrical related projects. We, we are in a lot of need of that type of work, whether we're retrofitting our existing electrical or we're eliminating uh, outdated electrical components, also mechanical components. So there's a lot of projects that are associated with that. We continue this quarter with more pump station eliminations. The Lake Forest project will eliminate four pump stations that are significantly beyond their service life. And then uh, continuation of some Odom County work, the Ohio River Service Area Lift Station Rehabilitation is three pump stations that are in the Odom County area. And then we move forward to more project at lab and equipment upgrades. Uh, if you're curious about that one, that is a lot of casework, cabinets, uh, the, the, the equipment and anything that are associated with the laboratory. We have more pump station eliminations and we will continue our dry projects. We have six uh, dry projects and then the continuation of our flood wall and levee protection projects. So moving into the third quarter of the year 2022, we will also be busy uh, continuation of some of our projects. As you can see, Treatment plants, again, this is gonna be the common theme as you see through, th throughout this. The Cedar Creek Wastewater Quality Treatment Center sludge storage tank, that's an over $2 million project. That's a project that is more of the typical concrete tank uh, line pipe work, but we do move into a, a large interceptor. This is one I would like to stop for a bit. That is an eight mile interceptor that will be the eastern part of Jefferson County It'll go up and, and allow us as we move forward into some of the other surrounding counties, but that is a significant project. That'll be the backbone of the last remaining unsewered sewers area in Jefferson County, and that's $60 million. That's a very significant project. And then there's another pump station elimination, uh, Canal Street flood wall work, more projects at our treatment plants, and then a continuation of our drainage projects, uh, the dry projects uh, for this quarter. Uh, the next slide is continuation of the third quarter. And as I mentioned, this just goes into more of the treatment plant work. We have sodium, uh, sodium bisulfite building improvements. And then, as I mentioned, the eight drainage projects ranging from thirty dollars to $150,000. So the next slide will be the last quarter, uh, the final quarter of projects that we plan to advertise for the year 2022. Another significant project is the Fairmount Road a Force Main Extension. This is a phase two project that will improve the force main and also add new pumps and controls at that station. It's a pretty significant project at $4 million. We have more work at our Cedar Creek Wastewater Quality Treatment Center, a tertiary filtration project. And then, as I mentioned, uh, and I specifically wanted to mention that, we have moved into uh, Bullock County, and one of the, the first significant projects we will do in Bullock County is the Hunter's Hollow Pump Station in Force Main. And what this will do is this will allow us to eliminate the Hunter's Hollow treatment plant and other treatment plants in the area that are significantly beyond their design life and will gra drastically improve the, the living conditions and the water qualities in Bullock County. And then finally, but obviously not the least of our projects is we will continue, as you can see through each quarter, We'll have a steady uh, diet of the flood wall levee protection projects and also the dry projects. And, and again, a continuation, there'll be eight projects ranging from thirty to $250,000. And with that, I want to say this concludes my part of the presentation today. 
I want to thank everybody for coming, and I want to thank everybody for wanting to participate and also for your interest. Please, as I mentioned throughout this, we we are working on our existing infrastructure, and the one thing I've been in MSD now for almost 30 years, and, and the one thing at times that there seems to be a lack of, it is the electrical, the mechanical, uh, the facility type contractors. So if you have opportunities, if you're new, if you're seeing this for the first time and was wondering, are there opportunities to come to Louisville MSD and do some work? If you're an existing partner, please uh, bid on our projects, and I hope you have an interest in what we're about ready to bid out upcoming for the 22 year and please note that this is phase one of a five-year program that is going to be about the same amount of work every year and we're going to be doing a lot of work at our existing infrastructure and there's a lot of potential growth there uh, in those areas so i just want to thank you if you have any questions please uh, you can get a hold of me or get a hold of renee Lindsay, and we can address any items you may have uh, questions or comments about thank you Thank you, John. MSD's capital program includes approximately $1 billion over the next five years. Our engineering director gave you an overview of upcoming projects in this calendar year. The construction activities include a high percentage of excavation, concrete, site restoration, hauling, pavement. We also have significant dollars on pump station and treatment plant projects. These projects also include a significant amount of electrical work, concrete, hauling, and demolition. MSD is proud of our long-term commitment to minority and women-owned businesses. MSD has spent over $144 million with minority and women-owned companies over the past five years, and we are striving to increase our spend in the coming years. MSD is committed to continuing to address disparities in our community by increasing access and opportunities to underserved groups throughout our service area. MSD's new and enhanced supplier diversity program continues to feature inclusive procurement policies for underutilized minority and women-owned businesses to provide MWBEs with more opportunities to work with MSD increase co competition in the contracting community and diversify companies doing business with us with the goal of producing more equitable outcomes in our supplier community. Our construction subcontracting goals are 18% for African American owned businesses, 2% for Asian Indian owned businesses and 15% for Caucasian women owned businesses. On the heels of our disparity study in 2018, our new goals are designed to increase inclusion and participation among underrepresented groups. A 10% bid discount will be applied on procurements estimated at $30,000 to $500,000 or less for bids submitted by eligible minority and women-owned companies on construction services, construction-related services, and materials and commodities and non-professional services when bidding with us as a prime. The bid discount is applied during the price evaluation on bids submitted by eligible MWBEs bidding as a prime. Discount reduces the bid price by 10%, and this is for evaluation purposes only. The maximum discount is $50,000. The bid discount is to incentivize the development of minority and female companies to become prime firms. This in turn will help correct the disparate treatment of these affected social groups. In addition, growth of prime firms will help increase competition in the market, resulting in better pricing for MSD. MSD goals for professional services are 15% MBE and 6% WBE. The goals are aspirational and are applicable on contracts where the engineer's estimate is $50,000 and greater. MSD also seeks professional service firms for direct contracts. So if you are a certified minority or woman-owned company, please register with MSD. Mr. Lockley has discussed the opportunities and the list will be posted on our plan room site. MSD's goods and service goals are 5% MBE and 3% WBE participation. This is an annual goal that we strive to achieve. 
These goals are achieved through direct contracts with our suppliers on everything MSD needs to run, run its business, such as chemicals, inventory supplies, custodial, mowing, HVAC, electrical, and so on. Contracts award are based on the lowest responsive responsible bid or evaluated bid. The bid discount is applicable for eligible MWBEs. A full list of upcoming procurement bids will be posted on our plan room site. Supplier Diversity wants to support your growth through training, outreach, and engagement. We want your input on training needs that you desire. We have and continue to conduct outreach and training sessions uh, on, to discuss property service connection and our drainage response initiative programs. In March, we are planning a bonding and contracting readiness service series. Stay tuned for more information. We continue our town hall outreach. This is our effort to seek new minority and women owned companies. MSD accepts third party national, federal and local certifications along with their affiliate offices. National Minority Supplier Development Council, Women Business Enterprise National Council. We accept the United States Small Business Administration 8A only. Louisville Metro Government Human Relations Commission certification where a desk review and a site visit has occurred. MSD does not accept DBE certifications. All MBE and WBEs who participate in MSD subcontracts and other procurements must be certified and MSD recognized and approved before submitting a bid, quotes, or proposals and commencing work on an MSD subcontract. In July 2021, MSD launched the new Small Local Business Enterprise Program. This is a race gender neutral initiative to encourage small local businesses to actively participate in MSD's procurement and contracting process by ensuring equitable access to business opportunities for SBEs in our service area. This is a two year pilot program focusing on construction projects selected by the chief engineer that range between $30,000 and less than $150,000. For eligibility, businesses must meet required criteria, including number one, the business must have a significant local presence and must be located in the MSD service area. Two, the business it has to be in operation for a minimum of one year prior to applying for SBE program registration with a minimum of one year of gross revenues. Businesses with an annual gross revenue not exceeding an average of $5 million over the three-year period. To learn more about our eligibility requirements and to register for the SBE program, visit our website at louisvillemsd.org forward slash small business. MSD continues ongoing recruitment for our SBE program through our website and social media channels. Applications are actively being received and reviewed on a regular basis as we grow our program. MSD conducts a monthly informational session titled How to Do Business with MSD. During this meeting, you will learn about MSD's procurement process, supplier diversity requirements, community benefits, and local labor. The sessions are held the fourth Wednesday of each month beginning at 9 a.m. Please register by emailing John Allen at LouisvilleMSD.org. You may access MSD's Doing Business With Us website and find out all about the wonderful programs I have discussed by scanning the QR code. My name is Sharice Horn, Director of Community Benefits and Partnerships at MSD. MSD is proud to continue our equity focused program for the third year. In the face of COVID-19 pandemic, the needs and challenges of our local communities continue to increase. MSD maintains our commitment to support diverse and vulnerable communities in partnership with contractors and firms like you. Part of MSD's procurement policies when bidding on large dollar contracts incentivize vendors to provide community benefits through volunteer hours, in-kind services, or financial contributions to local nonprofits, community-based organizations, 
and schools in MSD service area. Our community benefits program leverages economic, environmental, and social impacts through our large scale construction, construction related, professional services, and engineering projects by ensuring ratepayers benefit from MSD's capital investments. The program encourages firms to invest in the community through a variety of ways, including workforce development, strategic partnerships, and education. As we kick off 2022 and the third year in our program, we are very proud of all that we have accomplished with your support. Today, our program has received more than $1.7 million in commitments towards community organizations and schools in Louisville and Jefferson County. Currently, 24 firms are participating in our community benefits program with active or fulfilled commitments. Our community benefits partners have positively impacted the community in a variety of ways, including virtual career panels, workforce development cohort partnerships, STEM lab development, development of playgrounds, fences, and local community gardens, and addressing food insecurity by providing 1,800 free meals to over 190 students. In an effort to connect firms contracting with MSD and local nonprofits and schools, our Community Benefits Program continues to host monthly outreach events titled Community Connections. As the pandemic ensues, we have converted to virtual outreach events. These opportunities allow firms to connect with community partners and schools and develop a library of information and ideas to benefit local residents. Please reach out to the Community Benefits Department if you would like to learn more about these outreach opportunities. While companies are actively engaging in the community, our internal staff at MSD are doing exactly the same. Strategic partnerships are critical to helping our ratepayers and local residents. We foster partnerships throughout diverse communities in our service area in an effort to address unique challenges and protect the environment as a good neighbor. As we increase investment in our local infrastructure, we are continuing to strive to ensure fair and equitable investment in the local community. We are also committed to ensuring local youth are informed about career opportunities by working with the local school system to increase awareness and access to careers in the water sector including construction, professional services, administrative, and entrepreneur opportunities. Not only are we working to sustain our internal workforce, we are also ensuring there are qualified and capable individuals right here in Louisville to help fulfill our large scale operational and infrastructure needs. Even though the pandemic is still with us, we have to ensure that we are still meeting our regulatory and consent decree requirements. One way we achieve this is by ensuring that local residents are hired to work on our projects through MSD's local labor program. In 2010, MSD adopted a local labor policy. This program is in place to ensure employment opportunities for local residents and ratepayers. Through our local labor program, construction projects over $5 million require contractors to hire locally in our metropolitan statistical area. In 2021, more than 1,700 jobs were created from large MSD projects, including 608 right here in Louisville and Jefferson County. Projects include the Waterway Protection Tunnel, Lexington and Payne, Rowan Pump Station, Height Creek Water Quality Treatment Center expansion, the I-64 and Grinstead project, and the Large Diameter Sewer Rehab project. Job types consist of 56 skilled craft areas, including iron workers, painters, plumbers, power equipment operators, surveyors, roofers, laborers, and sheet metal workers. MSD's Community Benefits Program is the first of its kind to be implemented in our region, and we are very proud of the strong community impact we have made so far with your support. We have accomplished a great deal since 2018, and we look forward to greater success in 2022. We hope you will partner with us at MSD. It is through these efforts we effectively uplift the communities we serve. When we all work together, the community benefits. Thank you, Sharice, and thank you for joining us for Can You Dig It 2022. 
We hope you found this event informative and learned about new opportunities to work with MSD and the Louisville Water Company. If you are not registered with us, we invite you to register at our respective websites. As the pandemic is still with us, we encourage everyone to stay safe and healthy. We look forward to seeing you at Can You Dig It 2023. Thank you. This concludes our program.